I found some interesting uh, microorganisms growing inside my coffee machine, specifically in the water tank of the coffee machine, and today I want to put them under the microscope. Hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. Yes, uh, today a little bit of microbe hunting in my kitchen, uh, because there, there, where there is water, there is life. Uh, and in the water tank of my coffee machine, I found this brownish-greenish layer, and I immediately realized this must be a biofilm. Uh, biofilms are are thin layers of microorganisms, uh, algae, uh, maybe also some protozoa um, growing there, bacteria, of course, uh, and uh, essentially sometimes those biofilms can be quite complex and quite interesting to look at. Well, I think I have not cleaned uh, this uh, this container for quite a long time, um, and when I put it under the microscope, or at least on the microscope slide, I could already see that uh, there were tiny little, little flakes um, of the biofilm visible, so I was already very... Uh, motivated and very positive that I'm going to find something interesting and sure enough this is what I saw and uh, when I zoomed in a little bit more I could see the individual cells and these are most likely diatoms. Diatoms are single-celled algae um, and uh, they are quite uh, unique because um, they have a shell made of silica um, and uh, at a higher magnification we can even see the regular structure of those diatoms and also the chloroplast see that the green structures inside the individual cells cells. Now, when I saw those, I was already very happy because this basically means that we have so-called producers um, in the container um, of the coffee machine. Producers are all those organisms that do photosynthesis. And uh, when we have uh, photosynthetic microorganisms in there, then this basically is the basis for a food chain. So maybe we're able to find some other microorganisms um, as well. Here, a little bit of a nice video effect here, um, yeah, where I'm rotating uh, those uh, little algae algae around uh, yeah, in each small drop of water. They look uh, quite uh, quite beautiful. Now, um, in the biofilm, I could also find um, yeah quite a few other things as well, like, for example, the shells. Um, I could find some uh, cellular debris, some a lot of unidentified material as well. So I knew that I had to be a little bit patient in looking around a little bit longer to find something interesting. And sure enough, <laughs> look at this. I could not believe it. Uh, this is an amoeba, not in time lapse. This is now the, the real speed. And uh, amoeba, a single celled uh, protozoa. Uh, and what they do is, is uh, they are able to change their shape. And uh, when they find some food, usually some, some debris, some uh, fragments of cells or bacteria, then what they do is they engulf uh, the food and then they digest it internally. Now, those uh, amoeba are heterotrophs. This means they have to feed on organic material. But but where does the organic material come from? Well, you've guessed, uh, as I told you already, well, uh, the algae, the single-celled algae, they produce them. So they are the basis uh, for the food chain. And so we see that um, essentially there we have already a little um, an ecosystem or at least a small community of microorganisms um, inside uh, the coffee machine. So and I was uh, actually saying, then, well, maybe maybe I can find some other uh, microbes as well. And indeed, uh, I found a few others as well. And here you see that uh, this uh, little fellow over here is quite uh, motivated to go off into one direction to the to the right side here. Um, but normally amoeba are able to uh, extend their so-called pseudopodia. Pseudopodia are extensions of, of their cell like you have over here because that's a different one that I found. And those pseudopodia, they are kind of uh, searching the environment uh, to catch for some food. And you can also see that there are some smaller other particles uh, floating around in the medium around it. So possibly bacteria, and, and um, all of these things uh, serve as a food source and all of them can be found inside uh, inside the water tank. The question, of course, now is, is, is where do they come from? Well, there are really two possible sources. Um, one source is is that they were... Ah, look, here, here's another one. <laughs> um, one source, of course, is, is that uh, they were introduced uh, with the water um, that I filled uh, the tap water. Um, or it could be that some of them are also carried over the air, over dust, for example. And then when they fell into the container... Uh, then they started to reproduce. Now, I have to tell you, I don't know what those round structures are. Maybe these could be the shells of uh, some amoeba, some amoeba 
tests. They're called a test is a shell um, of an amoeba, but I'm not quite sure. And I have to do a little bit more observation to find out what it actually is. Yeah, but I think uh, this little uh, um, little adventure has uh, shown you that even in un quite unexpected or maybe quite expected spaces, uh, we can find uh, microbes because, uh, as I told you before, there where there is water, there is life and uh, life will prevail. And uh, I think... Uh, we can f expect uh, quite a lot more um, microorganisms in all different places uh, where there's uh, plenty of standing water, like, for example, in the inside of a, of a, of a tap, for example, um, yeah, maybe also in, in, in the drainage system. Plenty of things to observe. Now, if you're interested in, in finding um, and observing uh, some algae that are found in a water bottle, then here is another video uh, that I would like uh, to show you. In any case, I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.